from Mighty Teen, Mega Mighty Teen. <laughs> and I perused the plant section, as you do, and came upon the clearance section. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea, but handy tip for those who are trying to garden on a budget, landscape on a budget, um, plant a 900 meter square house on a budget. <laughs> Um, no section rather um, I went to the clearance part and grabbed some and just perused the aisles and got the, the things that had been slashed on prices so here's a little look so I, I don't know if they I think they're probably the end of the flowering season for these guys so um, I don't know I've got no idea but they're pretty this one's called a margarita like how cool is that in Oster Spearman. I'm terrible at those sorts of names, but <laughs> goodness me. Um, these are, yeah, they're beautiful. So I'm going to plant them in my little garden that I'm putting together where the pond used to be, just to kind of make things look a little nicer up there. I got some pea straw and I got some mulching bars, um, bark. I'm not happy with the mulching bark, but it's all that I could get. Um, and I've just left them under this beautiful tree because it's really hot today. Um, I've just taken away this fence here that used to be here. There used to be red, ugly, ugly red posts. And I'm making my way through this compost. And oh, there's a bone. Yep. Um, oh man, it's made me sad, guys. I wish I had videoed me digging this. But um, there's just rubbish like a bag with mussel shells, a wok, roasting aluminium roasting pan, you know the things. Um, yeah, it kind of just saddens me. But anywho, it is what it is and I'm digging through it um, because we want this area here to be the kids' play area. So we want to get rid of this mound. So I'm going to use what I can. Then my other aim is to get to this little compost bin and see if it's still able to be used and shift that down to the garden shed just for now um, so we can deal with this patch here that's better um, yeah so fingers crossed I don't know how to get rid of tires so I need to look that one up because there's quite a few tiles on the tires on this property um, that have been used to grow <laughs> I don't know what was in there I'm assuming like a rose because there's one down here for rose and then there's some chucked behind the shed I won't get started it's the end of the year so um there we are we're heading into January so it's hot guys and I'm enjoying it I'll just show you the end result of my work yesterday and here yeah, I've weeded the wild um it's best just not even weed in the morning because I didn't see any of these this morning because they were all closed weren't they but I've weeded the wildflower garden because I realized that actually they're suffocating because of the weeds so I've kind of um it's helped the others pop which is quite cool and I've just added this little um I've taken them from over there and popped them here because the poor little guys are just living in sand so I'm hoping that with what they've got now with the mulch bark um that they'll love life so just lots of watering I mean my rosemary bush should be way bigger than that rosemary just it's a weed when it gets going um, but yeah, so the plants that I bought today are going to go here. So I've got to dig out the sand. I'm going to try and keep the sand because I think I've got a plan for the sand. And then I've got to put the people in the rubbish, go get the mulch from the compost mound, <laughs> dig it out, put it in here, and then plant, then mulch. There we go. There we go.
some of the southern hemisphere. It is time for autumn. Um, my most favourite, favourite um, season of the year, really. Um, just because of the colour that autumn brings, the light, um, the release of heat. Um, it's so hot here in summer. Probably not as hot as some parts of the world, but it's a humidity heat, um, or humid heat, I should say. Um, so anyway, I thought that I would, I just love this light, it's so cool, um, update with update you guys where we're at in our garden, um, outside, at the start of autumn, so end of summer. Um, it probably doesn't look like we've done a lot, but I feel like the um, the backyard is looking so much better at this part of this stage of the year than when we moved in. Hang on, I just spotted somebody. Let's look at this guy. Hello, Sherlock. Are you cleaning yourself? Are you have caught you in a compromising position? Yeah. Hello, Papa. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hey. You like this time of year too. It's a bit easier on you. Oh, big yawns. <laughs> It's gorgeous, gorgeous cat. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I'll take you for a walk around our property. So today I've been doing quite a bit actually. Um, my next job is to clean up this mound. Um, so I've separating the trees from the the green waste, I should say, from the landfill waste, um, which will mean that we've got a pretty clear fence line. Um, and then that's the next thing to be dealt with along here. Oh god, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but anyhow. Um, but look at this. This is the the old mound that I did. This is what it looks like now. It's grass. I just mowed the lawns this morning, so she's looking a bit... They were really long, but I've got all this glorious weed that I need to get rid of. But anyhow, at least my worries. But yeah, um... It's just looking so much clearer here. Like it's just rolling green lawn, which is what we want to do. Got rid of these, that tree there. There used to be a little one there. That was the cranberry tree. Um, Kyle's poisoned it because we just need to get rid of stumps now because we're going to um, terrace this land, um, the backyard. <laughs> then I'll go through plans later. Walking through the orchard, it's such a pain to mow. So we're going to actually, oh, hang on. Ah, there we go. It's just such a pain to mow. Oh my god. Seriously, we've got caterpillars. Is that gonna focus? Hang on, let me see. We've got these swan plants everywhere. That's not gonna focus on me. There we go. Everywhere these swan plants. So cool. I've got all these caterpillars, but swan plants, such a weed. Um, yeah, we're going to transplant those because it's just too messy. But today I swept all down there, cleaned it out, got rid of all the weeds, weeded this garden over here. So it's looking quite cool here now. I just love that there's wildlife. I don't care what kind of wildlife it is really, to be honest. I just love seeing the butterflies and the moths. Um, but yeah, I'm making this into a bit of a kitchen garden. got time there that I'm going to put somewhere else because as you can see, it just sits in the shade all day. Um, but these are all my, yeah, plants that I just chucked together. I, no rhyme, no reason, but I've got herbs in amongst, um, poor rosemary. We have way too many roasts, so, yeah, we did this today. Way too many roasts, so the little rosemary book, a bush has been hacked at, so, um, and also there were massive swan plants just here, which I feel slightly bad about getting rid of, but, um, they were blocking the light from my beautiful rosemary plants, so had to be weeded. Um, and then over here, um, these are like broccolini type thingies that I'm growing, and my spinach plants that I need to, I harvested them the other day, but man, they're just growing so quickly at the moment. Hello, are you following me? Are you following me? I'm going to Some beautiful raspberries from our garden. 
so tasty. So we didn't even plant this raspberry tree. It came with the property and we're going to try and keep it because look at these babies. Gorgeous.